Planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner chic. Well, hello everyone. I thought I would sing the jingle for you guys today. Well, welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first I want to thank all my awesome Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. And they are Sonia Baskin, Etta, Allison Jackis, Dean Martin, Ryan McMurray, Sanrina Moore, Lepton Quark, Lucille Theory, Keith Theory, Shamika Theory, Gay Willis, and Wendy Parker Ellisord. Thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And if you want to support me for a one time, you can do that on the chat. Under the chat, there should be a little dollar sign and you can do a dollar or more if you're interested in doing that. Well, thank you guys so much. If you are on today, please comment in the chat and say where you are on live from, what city or what state and it's so awesome to have you guys here. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some junk journaling with you guys and talk about some self-care as part of that process as well. And so I posted for the thumbnail for today's video. I did. I showed you guys a recent uh, spread that I did. So this is a junk journal I created oh, maybe a year ago. I did do a video on this. So after the video, this live processes, then I will put it in the um, actually I can do that as soon as the video is over. Uh, I can put the link to the video for where I actually created this one. And then when it processes, then I can put the iCard in there as well. So um, then you can see how I made this. And so I'm going to show you uh, what I did in that spread that's in the thumbnail and kind of how I did it. And then we're going to work together. So I hope you pulled out some of your stuff. While I'm kind of flipping to that, I want to let you know you can use anything the junk journal. You can use an existing journal. You can use a spiral, you can use a, a composition notebook, you can take some scraps of paper and staple them together, whatever you wish to junk journal. And it is just a really awesome way to just express yourself with no, no pressure to make it look a certain way, no pressure to make it necessarily pretty. It's just a way to really kind of put your thoughts out there. It's also a way to do memory keeping and I do that as well. But I do both. So I do some pages where, oh, this was from this experience. And maybe I combine that from a specific event or a memory or birthday. I have a lot of cards that I save for birthdays and do that kind of thing. But I also use it for just today. And I don't commit myself to doing a spread every day either. But I do commit to doing a little bit every day, just whatever I'm feeling that day on that spread. And then maybe it takes me a week to finish it. So on this spread, I did. Um, I just started doing stuff and then decided to write chronic pain because that's what I've been dealing with with my shoulder and with my knees for years. And so what I did, this was a, a greeting card. It was a birthday card that one of my subscribers and friends uh, gave me, Bridget. She sent me that on my 50th birthday. And this was um, part of the front cover. So I cut that out. I glued that in there. This is just a little a piece of scrap that I put in between there to slide for if I want to journal on it. And then um, let me get back because the color is not wanting to work right. Oh, before I continue, I want to apologize. If you had tried to connect with my live when I had scheduled it for, I believe it was Sunday, I apologize. I had so many technical issues. I thought it was because I have this new laptop and I thought it had to do with that. But I had to try everything where I finally discovered what it was. So on YouTube, you can set up your lives on any of the platforms. Like I go between my cell phone and my laptop and different things um, for YouTube to do all different types of stuff. Um, but for when you do a live, sometimes if you set it up on one device, you can't actually film it on a different device. So I'd set it up on my phone and it would not recognize it on my laptop. And I didn't know that was the problem until after trying so many things and just Googling to see if anyone else out there had had that issue, which there were other people, you know, kind of in the forums who had commented the same thing. So now I know <laughs> whatever I schedule it on is what I have to film it on. So I really apologize for that. So then down here, this real pretty picture 
is just from a magazine for the botanical gardens out here. My husband and I used to be members of that. And so I thought it was really pretty. I cut that out and put it on there. And then this was from a different little magazine. It's some cacti, really beautiful. And then down here, one of my subscribers, Billy, had sent me some stuff. And this was um, out of some journal paper or some planner paper. And I put that on there. And then I put some gesso, which is where you see it kind of sort of whited out in there. I'm tilt my camera a little bit. Where you see it kind of where it kind of seems like there's sort of white just brushed across there is just some acrylic gesso. It's just this, if you've never used it, some just really thick white stuff. <laughs> and you can actually use it to glue at you can it can act as glue for things as well. You can put it down and then put stuff on top of it. You can put different type of texture stuff on there and it just kind of gives it some texture. And I put that across there. Oh, and this was this was from a shopping bag that I had from Marshall's years ago and it had a bunch of different antique cameras on it and then I had cut all the pieces out and used them for different things and I glued that on there and then I took some different sprays so if you can see there's kind of splatters of different colors in there so I took some daubers some you know Tim Holtz sprays and daubers and put that on there and then I used um, my what are these called? Butterfly markers from Jane Davenport. They're filled with ink. And I used a purple one to write chronic pain across there. And that's how I did that one. So I started another one. And so, you know, this is just a really good way to, to express your feelings um, in art and relaxation. And that is really good for self-care. You know, sometimes we just need a minute to be able to be still, to make our minds still. You know, maybe we're frustrated about stuff, worried about stuff, angry about stuff. And it can be really hard to just calm your mind so that you can really have a clear perspective. Because when things are difficult, they can seem a lot worse than they are. And I know sometimes things are really, really bad, but but everything is probably not bad. And there are sometimes things that you can do and sometimes things you can't do. And we sometimes need to just have that perspective of applying that serenity prayer, doing the things we can and you know, accepting the things we can't. Sometimes before I went to PTSD therapy, I used to use, um, I, would use I would use art as an escape. Now I know sometimes people recommend that and I'm gonna say that I don't recommend that. What I mean by that is it's a good way to calm your mind so that you can have a good perspective to deal with the things you need to deal deal with. But if you're using it as an escape to never deal with what you need to deal with, well, then that's not good. To me, that's the same as like drinking or using drugs. You're finding a way to escape your reality and not deal with it at all. What I recommend is using art and journaling and junk journaling as a way to calm your mind so that then you can have perspective and actually deal with things that you do need to deal with whenever you're able to do that. And so, um, so yeah, this is a really good tool for self-care. So I just started um, yesterday this spread, and so I'm going to continue with this while we talk today. And so you can junk journal with anything, right? anything. Now you don't want to hoard everything. And I'm going to do a future video of, of how I am storing all my different little bits and pieces for junk journaling. But um, you can use anything. And if you find something that's pretty and you have a way to store and organize it, I apologize, there's a plane flying over, then keep those things, but don't keep everything. Once you, once it's full, <laughs> once the area is full and you don't have space, then you want to stop. I love sunflowers. So this is just a tag right here. It's just a tag from uh, some stuff that I bought at, I feel like my lighting is a little crazy right now. Is that better? That is better. Yes. Okay. So then um, this was a tag from some stuff that I bought at, um, no, I don't think it's that. I think, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's the fan. If you guys see me clearly, let me know. So I, um, I'm going to turn that right back where it was. 
Okay. <laughs> so then this was a tag of some stuff that I bought, like, bought at Dollar Tree. But in the center, it said whatever the product was, which I can't think of right now what that was. And so what I did was I took, oh, actually I have a little piece I'm going to cover. So then I took the little piece of another product that I got at the 99 cent store tag. I cut that out and then I just glued hello that on top and it says hello fall. So I thought that was cool. And then this was something that came in a magazine and I thought it was nice fall colors. And I just cannot get my lighting to apologize. You guys one moment. I might, that might be one of those things I need to accept <laughs> and quit trying to adjust it. Cause it is just not, no, that's way better. Okay. So, um, what was I saying y'all? So then I took, no, it's not. So then I took, um, what did I take? Oh, this, this came from a magazine and I cut it out and I thought the colors were really fall. And then a friend of mine gave me this, which is a, um, a greeting card. And I thought the colors are really beautiful. So I put that and I put the back of her card on there. So that's where I'm going to continue from right now. And I'm trying to position everything so you guys can see what I am doing down here. I'm going to look under here and see, <laughs> trying to see if you guys can see it okay or if it's too bright. I think that you guys let me know in the, um, let me know in the chat if it looks too bright or if that lighting looks good for you guys. Because I want to make sure that what I'm doing works for you all. You know, it doesn't matter so much how it looks to me, but I want to make sure you guys can see it well. Okay, so then I'm going to work on this and talk some more about self-care and things that we can do. So again, one thing that we can do that's very helpful is journaling or junk journaling, just getting your thoughts out. So some people journal more and I have found, I do, I do bullet journaling and I do like gratitude journal kind of thing. And I do have a journal that I'm going to be doing a video about here shortly um, that I sometimes when I feel inspired to write poetry or, um, or just do a little spread about some experience that we've had recently, you know, I'll do that and um, I'll put that on there, but I don't commit myself or expect myself to do be in there every day. It's just kind of when I'm, I'm led to on there, but when it comes to junk journaling or some type of artistic journaling, then I try to do that a little bit of that every day. It's just more me. Um, I, cause then I don't feel that I have to commit to a full spread. I can work on a little bit each day and that helps me to, um, express my thoughts through art and get those feelings and everything kind of all out on the page, but in an artistic way. Now writing is artistic as well. And I'm, I was in a writer and a publisher for a long time, but I don't know. I just feel like I can do a little bit of journaling, junk journaling every day and get, feel like I'm pouring out um, my feelings that day that way. So yeah. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts on that. Hey, thank you, Emily. How are you doing sister? Okay. So then some other thoughts and tips on self-care one we've talked about the junk journaling is have kind of a plan, not a plan, but have some different options. So for instance, one of the things that I do for every Saturday is my self-care Saturday where I do my spa time and that day is for me. Unless that I have a friend that has like an event or something, I'll go to that. And then I make sure all the rest of the day is committed to um, for me to just spend time with myself and do my hair and do my nails and foot bath and all that stuff. Well, to keep it from being boring where it's not the exact same routine. I am doing so good, Emily. Thank you so much for asking, asking sister. I appreciate you. But to keep the, it from being boring where I'm feeling like I'm doing the exact same thing um, every Saturday, because then, you know, I get bored easily and then I just won't want to do it. <laughs> Then what I do, I'm trying to find this greeting card I'm going to use. Then what I do is I like, for instance, I use um, vitamin C serum at night. But on Saturdays, I, I bought three other different types of serums that have vitamin C in them. Like they have other 
um, types of fruit oils or whatever, so that I'm trying a different, I'm kind of rotating. So every day of the week, I use the regular vitamin C serum on my face after I shower and then at night. And then on Saturdays, I kind of rotate those different, different vitamin C source oils. So I feel like I'm, I'm doing something different. You know, I have um, different masks that I make for um, my Saturdays. And so that I'm not using the exact same mask and I'm trying a new one, you know, different one. So one of the things I did to help with that is I took one of these Dollar Tree, um, what do you call it, index card holders that they have at Back to School. They still have a bunch of them at a lot of stores and it's really good quality. And so I put index cards in there and I've been writing out different types of um things that I want to do from my spa to spa Saturdays to rotate it and keep it from being boring and help me um, enjoy that experience. Like I'm going to a new spa every Saturday. So like I've got different ones for hair masks, uh, hair and body oil, which I make all these things. I'm vegan and I make them, but you can buy them. You can buy different ones at Dollar Tree and just rotate the different ones out. Um, face masks, all that different type of stuff. And, um, and so that's what I'm doing. And I'm also going to be uh, continuing to do that. I'm doing it for hair, body, face, but I'm also going to be doing that for different um, things when I just want to go, go do something by myself to enjoy myself, maybe go to an event or whatever, but rotate out those different types of things to do. And one of the things that kind of made me think about that, I'm going to be using this greeting card you guys got from Dollar Tree. And it's so cute across here. I think I'm going to use it across here somewhere. I think I'm going to kind of do it across the fold. But um, so one of the things that made me think about that is I have a friend that struggles a lot with anxiety. And I have it some, but, you know, she she's better now, but she's struggled a lot with anxiety. And so what she did is she created herself a list or a checklist so that whenever she starts to feel that way, she pulls out her list and kind of goes through it. Um, okay, uh, what am I feeling? What am I thinking about? Okay, do this. Or here's something you can do to relax your mind. And she has like different lists and different options. And so that's what really made me think about that. So remember we talked, if you, if you watched my last self-care video, live video that I did, um, we talked about, um, you know, doing that self-care is more than just having a spa weekend or doing your nails or doing your hair, or taking care of your skin. And those things are really important. Oh, I'm ripping it badly. Okay, Lucinda, don't mess up, but it's okay. I don't know why I'm talking about don't mess up. It's junk journaling. I can mess up. <laughs> There's kind of no such thing. So I just, I just ripped that off and I think I'm going to cut. I don't, I'm trying to decide do I want it to be puffy like that yeah because I want this to kind of be a welcome fall spread so I'm going to fold this in half this way so yeah it's not just taking care of your hair and your skin but it's also it's also um just overall taking care of yourself it's um getting enough sleep definitely and sometimes you can't get enough sleep because you have too much too many other things going on so but the main thing i wanted to encourage you about today is to plan for some options for whenever you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed out i totally can't find my bone folder that i just had over here i pulled it out specifically for today but that's okay I'll find it. I'm using back my scissors. But have plans for what you can do for when you feel anxious or when you feel worried. You know, a checklist of questions that you can ask yourself or things that you can do to kind of help you. One of the things that's really, really good for that is just to stop and breathe. You guys have probably heard this before, and yoga really helps me with that. But what I do is if I start to feel anxious, the very first thing I do is I stop and I take a really long inhale and a really long exhale. And I do that two or three times until I don't feel all jumpy anymore. Yeah, look at that, y'all. I need to get my permanent double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on here. So I do that. And then, um, and yoga helps me with that because you always do that in yoga. So you want to, you know, relax your mind. And then 
I ask myself, and you guys might want to write this down. So I take my breaths and then I ask myself, what is going on in my life right now? You know, what? Because sometimes you feel like, oh my goodness, this worry or the strife or this anxiety is just coming out of nowhere. And then when you take a minute to really think about what all you've been dealing with, just in general in your life, you realize, yeah, there's kind of a lot going on or this has kind of been bothering me. And then sometimes you can, there are things you can do about it. Sometimes it's like, you know, I might have too much going on <laughs> or I might, uh, I was, was, I told such and such, I was going to go do this thing with them tomorrow. And I just have too much. It's going to stress me out. I'm going to be rushing. I'm going to be trying to take care of five different things. And it's just too big of a, a day. And that's the only thing that I can really uh, cut out. Hey, cancel, reschedule. You know, um, if there's, if there's something that you are taking responsibility for, that's not yours. Oh, I used to do that all the time. You know, want to control everybody's outcome, all my family, um, you know, let it go. Remind yourself, it's not my life. <laughs> It's not my life. It's not my decisions. Yeah. So I, I do that. So I, I breathe. I ask myself, what is going on that's making me feel this way? And then I make whatever necessary change it is that I need to make if there is one. And then if I realize there's just kind of no reason for me to be feeling this way, I'm fine. I'm not worried about anything. Everything's going on. And I just kind of accept, OK, that's just the way my body is acting right now. It's a physical issue. It's not a you know, it's not something that I'm pondering. And then, you know, I just try to relax a bit, maybe do some art, drink some tea and, you know, just change my direction. But I think accepting that is the biggest deal. Just accepting that sometimes physically my body does that and it's okay. I'm not going to let it keep me down. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So don't forget to just kind of check in with yourself, like they say in yoga all the time. Do a little check-in. See if there's anything you need to do. And then make you some little lists of things that you can do to take care of yourself. You know, if it's um, one of the things that I also do as much as I can is plan my meals or plan, start, you know, do a little bit each day toward uh, multiple meals or cook um more than one thing or enough for several days at a time. Okay, I'm going to put this down, y'all, so I can do this. So that I am not eating what I shouldn't be eating. <laughs> or I'm not eating too much of what I shouldn't be eating. Yeah, that helps. Because then, you know, you got to take care of that body, right? Ooh, I don't know if this is going to stay in there like I was going. I don't think I think what I'm going to have to do, y'all, is just see what I was doing. But it's kind of. It's kind of bubbling up a little. Oh, no, it's not bad. No, it is. So I think what I might do is just cut it down the middle. Yeah, because that double, permanent double side tape is already on here now. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of cut it down the middle and then press that down and I think it'll look okay but even if it doesn't that's okay too Ooh, I can't hardly cut through this so let me know you guys what if you have any tips or if you have any things that you kind of plan ahead of time oh yeah okay that you kind of plan ahead of time to help you stay healthy, mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay, so I taped, oh, I'm gonna get this side on there. This down, I can't believe I didn't think to do it like this. It would've been so much easier to start that way. All right, let's see how that looks. It's kind of puffed up here. Oh, I know why, because there's no tape in that part. How's that look? What do y'all think? I got that truck in there. I think what I might do is just stick some gesso. Oh, now I can stick some Mod Podge in there and then press down in this space. 
oh, I can, I can lift it up a little bit and see how that does. Are you guys working on a, ooh, that was way too much. Are you guys junk journaling right now while we talk? Oh, thank you so much, Candace. How are you, sweetie? It's good to see you. So I hadn't asked you if any of you guys have a birthday or an anniversary coming up. I think I owed Candace, I think I owed your grandmother a song. Do I remember that correctly? I totally didn't bring anything to wipe my hands. Oh, yeah, I did. I think I owe your grandma a song. Somebody, I owe their somebody's family member a song. So I'm going to do that. And I might have to tape this. It's not staying down. Right. And oh, no, it's doing OK. So I'll, while I kind of hold this <laughs> to make it stick, I'll sing. Happy birthday to all the what is the month is September. My daughter's birthday is today. Yes. Oh, I can't believe she's 23. My baby is 23. And she is. So while this sticks, I'll just sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Destiny. And whoever else's birthday is today. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yay! Happy birthday, everybody. Oh, I did. I sang her. I sang her, but okay, well, good. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty good, right? What do you guys think? All right, I know I want to add some, um, I wanted to add some little splashes of color with some ink. So I've got, this is artsy it's a um what do you call it anyway I'm, i can't think of the word but <laughs> i'm gonna spray ink spray i'm gonna spray spray some of this on here just let it kind of i don't know if you guys can see that but it's kind of a gold it's a gold color thank you so much candace i think i feel like it needs a little more gold yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's pretty gold on there now. And then I'm going to use, I got it all on my fingers. Let's hope it's not on the floor. But, ooh, I might have done a little too much. It's kind of running. But I think I'm going to like the look of that after it runs. So this is how I'm feeling right now, why I'm doing this fall spread. for, Because I love fall so much. And I live in the Phoenix Metro, and it never looks like fall here. But I decorate my home for fall. I decorate my front porch and my patio. I go all out <laughs> for fall. So, and I just love it. I love the colors. I love the changing of the leaves. So uh, in Northern Phoenix, they do have all the seasons. So my husband and I are going to be going in a couple of weeks or so. As soon as the leaves change, they start to change around the end of September. So we're going to go um, to Flagstaff and just spend the day maybe a weekend and just enjoy all of the beautiful fall colors i'm going to take lots of pictures and i'm definitely going to journal and junk journal with that so now i'm going to use this um tim holtz distress stain and it's in antique linen and i'm always kind of not sure where i want to put this you know i just kind of i don't know <laughs> just kind of dauber it where it just kind of i don't know what i'm saying but i just wanted a little bit of that but not too much i didn't want it to look too brown and i don't i want it to look a little natural but i don't know if you guys can even see it on here Try not to put too much, but it sort of makes it look a little bit older. So I've kind of just dabbled, dabbled, dab, dabbed, <laughs> dabbed it on there, give a little more color. What else do I want to do? I might just leave it like this. 
today. I, let me see. Oh, I do have, now there's a little hole punch from the tag right here. Ooh, I dropped something. And I like to, um, you know, bring something through there. So this was on a blouse that I recently bought at Goodwill. And it only had, it didn't need to be on there the way it was stitched on there. And I just took it off because I really like the blouse and it looks great without this. And so this would be really good to put through here. So... And it's a nice fall color. So let's, if I can get it through here. And I think I'm just going to tie it in a little bow. Yeah. I might burn the ends of it because they're kind of unraveled. But I think this will be pretty. What do you guys think? Are you guys all into fall? Is it one of your favorite seasons? And do you have, like, do your leaves change color? Like, I'm from Oklahoma, and, and everything changed, turned colors. I mean, we had all the seasons. Of course, we had really bad weather, too. But it would be really, 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 really humid in the summer. And it could get cold, cold in the winter. It was just every possible, and tornadoes, it was every possible extreme yeah and it's pretty consistent here but so yeah i think i'm gonna burn the um burn the ends of that I'm a little lighter and i might i might put a little something else i don't know i might be finished um hmm I think I might be finished. I was trying to decide if I might put something on here with one of these, but Happy Fall is already on there. I could put some gesso, but I don't think I'm going to put any on there this time. I think I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out. And then I'll show it to you guys. I'm going to think. Let me look. So what do you think? Should I add anything to it? What do y'all think? You think it's good? I can't decide. I think I'm good, but um, hmm. I was thinking I have these from this video that I'm working on. Ooh, that actually would be pretty. Is that too much? That would look pretty. Let's see if I have any scraps from this project I'm working on. I could use this. And, um, ooh, it doesn't want to rip. What kind of paper is that? <laughs> I could put this right here. And, um, oh, you know what? I need to cover up something on here. I could put that, and then I could put, like, another little piece. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need to cover that up. All right, so I'm going to get some... I think I am. I'm gonna add a couple more things. I'm gonna put some my podge on this because I had some from my project earlier. Put that on here. So I might add one more thing. So are you guys junk journaling right now too? Are you? Tell me in the comments in the chat about your any self care you've been working on. If you do junk journaling, it's part of your self-care. And, yeah, and about fall, where you live. What's fall like where you live? All right. So I'm just adding that piece. I kind of covered up some of the, um, some of the, that stain, but I can put some more back on here. glue on there and put a little bit more stain around that I don't want to have too much though okay so and then I just kind of feel like I should put something on this corner like right in here just a little bitty something 
What should it be? Oh, I have a little piece of ribbon left from my other project. Y'all, I'm hunting for something to put on there. Um, this is kind of cool. This is pretty. Ooh, and it's fall colors, but I could, and I could just staple this on there and kind of make it kind of go through here. No, I want something floral. <laughs> But what should it be? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I might just have to wait because, you know, remember, I don't have to finish it today. I think I'm going to leave it. And then when I come across another fall floral piece, I'm going to put it on the bottom right there. So, yeah. So that's it for today, you guys. Candace, you've been watching so many youtube videos on junk journaling but you still haven't taken the plunge yet you have a decent stash that you've been saving for when you're ready okay girl well, when you're ready you let me know i'm going to be doing more videos and be doing more lives that you know are are this was supposed to be sunday afternoon um planning and journaling but technical issues so i'm going to be doing more junk journaling in our videos going forward for the month of September for the lives. So this is how it's turned out, you guys. And I'm going to add, like I said, a little floral to kind of balance with that over here somewhere. And yeah, so you guys, I didn't, the only thing I bought that is in here, you know, was, was this, uh, well, not this, well, it depends on how you look at it. So I used a bag to create something that's coming in a future video. And this is a scrap from that. But I bought this greeting card. But this card a friend gave me. That's the envelope from it. This is a tag from something I bought. So, you know, I didn't buy this. It was a tag. This came in the mail for free. This and it's got a little space here where I can tuck something. So I probably will be doing that later on. If I want to journal something, there's a little pocket space, um, you know. Yeah, so you can journal with anything. You just keep scraps, keep tags, keep envelopes, you know, and just order, put them, save them in some kind of orderly way so you can find what you want when you want it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's live video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot, you guys. You are a blessing. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. If you are taking care of yourself, that is awesome. But remember to take care of yourself physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Because when one area suffers, we completely suffer. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed weekend coming, weekend coming up. And until next time, happy planning.